Hey, we're back at it again with another video. I can't tell you how excited I am to finally be doing this, making content that I've always wanted to make, but now I finally am. I mean, I just moved to Columbus again about a month ago, and I put the first video up a month after we moved in, and these last couple of days, this last week, has just been really good for me. Um, I feel good, you know, I've been working out every morning, I've been reading every night, like a chapter a night on average, and you know, that might sound stupid to many of you guys, but I didn't read for a long time, and it feels really good to finally be doing that again. But I know what you're thinking, this is only like the second video, but, well that doesn't count the cover I just did of a day to remember, but nonetheless, I promise you that I'm going to continue making content and pursuing my passion for music. You heard that. I just promised you, okay? So hold me accountable, please. But I digress. So for today, I have an awesome video for you guys. Now, as you saw in the first video, and as you can see over my right shoulder, I've been using the Alesis Elevate monitors for the past four years, and they've worked pretty good. You know, I can't complain too much, but I thought it was time to upgrade, and that upgrade came in today. Now, I wanted to do an unboxing video, and I will, but as soon as you see the box, you're gonna know what's in it. What's in the f box? Is that a drumstick? So there it is. Wait, that's not right. So as you can see, I've picked up some Yamaha HS8s. These things are the real deal. I mean, they're no $2,000 Neumanns or anything, but they're gonna be a massive upgrade compared to the Alesis. You know, studio monitors might be one of the most overlooked pieces of equipment when it comes to your setup. A lot of people, myself included, kind of get cheap ones when we start off, which is fine. What do you expect? You know, you don't know if this is something that you're going to continue to pursue. But it is kind of crazy because studio monitors are one of the most important pieces of gear. I mean, studio is in the name. And like I said, I was one of those people. For a long time, I wanted other gear instead of upgrading my monitors, like getting my Axe effects. Now, I have no complaints there. That thing is awesome. Fractor is an amazing company. So, I'm stepping my game up. I want to pursue a career in music somehow. Whether it's making YouTube videos or it's putting my own music out there, I am serious about this. And so, I need some serious monitors. Let's go ahead and get these guys out of the box and see what they look like, but more importantly, what they sound like. So let's get these guys out of the box and see what they look like, but more importantly, how they sound. I'm excited. I have had these all day and I haven't opened them. Mmm, new box smell. Okay, let's see what's in here. Got the power cable, check. Got the manual. I actually do try to read all the manuals I get when I get new equipment. It's important. There's tons of awesome information in there and safety information that you probably should read. All right, new approach, I'm gonna put it upside down, pull the box off. Smoke. All right, so it's a new day. Last night I unboxed the monitors and today I spent a long time setting them up. I was very meticulous about all the measurements. I wanted to make sure that it was perfect and I would be right in the middle of the sweet spot. Now, I did try to record this earlier but I had a slight problem with a cable. I had to actually take one of the cables out and uh, solder a little joint because it wasn't really working that well. Um, it, a wire just wasn't making connection. All right, first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and listen to some reference tracks to get a feel for these. Man, these things sound awesome and they do have a room control on the back so I can attenuate for the bass frequencies since it's so close to the wall, but I don't even think I have to. Let's go ahead and listen to another one. I 
I just had to get the guitar out. I'm playing through the Axe effects right now and I can't tell you how different it sounds through the Yamahas. I mean, they are way bigger, so things are gonna sound a slightly different, but I'm gonna go ahead and play through some different amps just to test it out. Okay, so now that I'm done listening to some reference tracks and playing my guitar, I can tell you without a doubt that these are some awesome monitors. And I'm super excited to start writing new material and I'm going to share it all with you guys, of course. So if any of you have a home studio and you're looking to upgrade your monitors, I highly recommend checking out the Yamaha HS8s. And if you're in heavy music, studio equipment, or guitars, go in and hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be posting new content shortly, including guitar tech videos and playthroughs of my own original work. You've been awesome. Thanks for watching.